Well, good Tuesday morning. It is a weather alert day and it's 712 when we are recording this. We've got some sunshine out there for certain, uh, but we also have some high clouds out there as well, trying to push in um, out ahead of a system off to our south and west. Temperatures right now still in the upper 50s, but we're quickly warming out of that. Here's a look at some of that cloud cover off towards the west. Again, out ahead of this complex of storms south of Wichita over towards Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's going to pass just south of us through the Branson and Springfield area through parts of the Ozarks, we may catch a shower, maybe a quick shower for a few folks in the southern edge of our viewing area later this morning, but most of us are staying dry, warming well into the low 80s by this afternoon. Increasingly cloudy, though. Again, some of those clouds out of the southwest starting to impact our forecast a little bit later on this afternoon, but still, we're turning our attention by this point more so to the activity moving in out of the northwest. This will be our second round of storms moving in right around 6 o'clock for folks towards, we'll say, Macon, Brunswick, Marshall, um, into Moberly to Columbia to Mexico, closer to about 9 o'clock, and then that first round kind of moves away. Uh, then we're looking at uh, our second round moving in later on into the early morning hours. This is by about 3 or 4 o'clock on our western edge of our viewing area. The potential for strong storms is there with that first round that moves in, but we'll also have a chance for some strong to severe storms with this complex that rolls in into the early morning hours on your Wednesday. You'll see that we've got some dark reds and pinks in there. Future track is never exact, but it does start to show things that we could see with this chance for storms later on tonight. And what that means is uh, that pink would be an indication that we could see some hail, if not just some heavy rain, certainly some heavy rain with this. But the potential for hail and damaging winds are there uh, even more so, or I should say um, it's still there as we head into the later morning hours. And this spreads further off towards the east as well for folks to our south easternmost counties. That's uh, round two moving through uh, still at about six or seven o'clock in the morning. So even after sunrise, we may see a few stronger storms as uh, that complex passes off towards the east. We'll continue to see some drier conditions uh, and maybe even some sunshine by late morning, early afternoon. And then it's a pleasant afternoon for folks out there late in the day on Wednesday with highs maybe just a little bit cooler than what we saw today. Thanks to all that rain throughout the morning. Heading into your Thursday, your Thursday is starting dry. We should keep dry conditions in the forecast for that day before we see more rain on Friday. Here's the severe risk for late tonight, early tomorrow morning. The greatest risk is going to be to our north and west out towards parts of uh, north, northern Kansas, southern Nebraska, parts of northwestern Missouri near St. Joseph, Missouri. But again, that chance diminishes a little bit as these storms approach, but we're still considering the potential for some damaging wind and hail with some of these as they approach, even though we'll likely not see the worst of it. I may be more so concerned with flooding. I think that may be more widespread as we see potential uh, for a widespread three quarters of an inch to an inch, maybe more than that in some places. So again, some of those low water crossings, if we get a lot of repeated rainfall in some of these areas, may be covered with water early Wednesday morning, maybe even before sunrise, which would make it especially dangerous for folks. But again, Thursday we're dry. Friday is our next chance for storms along a cold front that will likely cool us down into the upper 60s for highs this weekend.